Hello internet, welcome back a couple of days later and uh, yeah, the continuous saga of the rear wash wipe on the Audi S3. I um, had a few comments uh, and thanks for those, uh, they all do help. Um, some people are saying it's probably in the tailgate, um, not so sure myself uh, and let me say why. Let's, uh, let's walk around the back here. Um, so I've opened the tailgate up, I would expect to see with all the water that was kind of pouring or or coming through the pipe if it was going to the back i'd expect to see it leaking out of here somewhere but it's perfectly dry um apart from obviously the water from the rain overnight there really is nothing to suggest that the pipe inside there um is actually feeding water into the boot rather than through there i really do suspect <clears throat> it's down here obviously i have a look inside the, the wheel arch see if I can see the uh, the actual reservoir and, and, and find the pumps but I've got a feeling I'm gonna have to jack it up and, and drop the bottom panel off and see if I can actually see inside maybe I can take the, the intercooler cover off um, and maybe get in that way I don't want to take the bumper off but, but if I have to then then I have to um, the bumper was taken off when it was resprayed uh, last year I mean it is possible that um, it really hasn't been working properly since then. I don't know. Anyway, this is part two. Um, and let me get it jacked up. Let's get that bottom panel out and let's see what I can see. Right, well, I've got it jacked up. Um, you can just about see the pump there. Um, maybe I can take this panel back a little bit and maybe get into it. Let's try. <sighs> Well, I'll be honest, it's not much help. Um, like I say, maybe take the fog light cover off. I, I don't know. Can I get into it that way? Um, it's looking more and more like the bumper's got to come either away or off. One of the two. Uh, but there's a the tank anyway. Um, I can't see anything obvious, but uh, I can't see a lot either. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Grills off. Less than helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Well, a little bit better. Uh, so I can see the horns. I can see I can see the motors. Can't see any pipes off at the moment. Um, all right, let's find out which one does the front, which does the back, and then I don't know. Maybe that will give me more of an idea what's going on. Hmm. So there is a there is a lot of water around there. That doesn't mean there's a leak, I guess. Uh, so that big one that's stuck in there is for the washers for the headlights, just there. Uh, so we're not really seeing that one, but this one here, you've got a sensor there, which I don't need to worry about, obviously, but this pump tucked right in there. It seems to have two pipes coming off it. I assume, I don't know how it does it, but there is some sort of valve in there that says either back or front. You'd have to assume, I guess, but I don't know. I need to work this out. Only problem is, hmm, don't see a problem here. It's going to be up there, and it? it's going to be behind the bumper. I'm going to have to take the bumper off. You just know it's going to happen. So I'm sure there's a leak, but where's it coming from? Yeah, there we go. A telltale sign. Well, let's face it, it was always going to be inevitable. The front bumper was always going to come off at some point. Um, right, the leak seems to be... I don't know, around here somewhere. I'm not sure where. Probably about there, I think. Start stripping some of this tape back and have a good look. That looks suspiciously like an area. Thank you. Yeah, that could be leaking. Yeah, that's a big old air leak there that's not letting any water get pushed up. Well, I've got various bits of old uh, RC pipe um, from RC fuel systems, I believe, and uh, oh, an Audi pipe from something. Yeah, let's um, see what I can do with these. Right, so that's a bit of a test, first of all, just to see if the concept works. Before I tidy it all up. Right, let's see if we get anything out the back. Ah, right, nothing at the moment, but 
that has filled up hmm so it's better than it was hmm but yes we are still dry are we drying there ah right so we're now getting water out of there so that says to me that yes we've got to break this end as well damn so uh, yeah the internet comments were right it is broke here but it was also broke at the front as well right let's get this off then it's gonna be a mammoth job just a heads up if you are taking this off at any point there is a couple of cheeky screws right inside there can you see them probably not and there you go we have another leak up here as well whereabouts are you whereabouts are you huh. in there by the looks of it oh, let's get a torch get a closer look and that one telling you getting this panel off scary makes a lot of cracking and banging as you can see there's water right let's see where this leak's coming from noisy motor right go on spray it then it's the motor at the front we're in right stop interesting right so here's all the fans right just give it a quick buzz stop so there you go water's coming up to there but I think it's actually inside the motor where the problem lies damn so this really is a day of chasing problems um, <laughs> right it's definitely leaking out the motor itself so something's gone wrong inside there um, something's broke something seals uh, who knows could be a new motor not the worry um, right let's get on the bench have a quick look and see if it's fixable and uh, go from there well folks you would have to assume that for some time <laughs> there's been a bit of a problem here yeah look at that that is um, not good to put it bluntly to put it politely I guess um, so what happens let's uh, what happens so that goes on there and that goes out to goes it to there um, I'm gonna try and clean it up I'm gonna try and get it working um, it doesn't look apart from being really filthy and really horrible and mucky uh, I think that's that could be salvageable so let's give it a go well, I cleaned it up a bit um, cleaned that up quite nicely and that's coming up just took the, the shaft out to, to give it a good greasing and get it sorted out uh, I mean it's not pretty, it's not brilliant, it's not 100% but um, you know, it, uh, it could do the job. I mean testament to Audi, um, yeah this shouldn't have worked. It was absolutely full of crud, ugh, like that, and um, well full of water at the end as well. And probably been like that for some time, so um, yeah hats off to Audi. Um, great bit of engineering. Right, let's get it all greased up, cleaned up, put it back together and see where we stand. Right, she's all greased up, all free. Just about to put the top on, a little bit of uh, rubber grease around there, just to, to keep her nice and soft and supple. Um, may put a little bit of uh, a little bit of grease in there too. Don't want to go too mad though. No, that'll do. So we'll just stick that on top there. Let's pop in, uh, stick the screws on, and give it a go. Right, all back together. Let's stick it back on the car. And let's see what happens. Right, we're all plumbed up. The wife's going to give it out. Yeah, hey, look at that. Oh, yes, it works. Oh, Reeves, you're a genius. I can't see any seepage like before. I think we fixed it. So, just going to bolt that back in again. But what I'm going to do first is fix the front properly, I think. Or am I going to do that first? Now let's put that in first and then go to the front. 
So there you go, all back in place again. Make sure the pipes are nice and tight. Everything's where it should be. Can't see any leaks. Um, right, just going to quickly shut down the tailgate. Um, need to unlock it first. Just check it now. It's back in situ again. So on with that. Let's do that. And do. Ooh, oh, this will be tricky. Hey. Hope you see that. Hope you see the waterfall. So that works. Mission back off again. Right, as I said, what we're going to do now is a proper repair on this. Um, I might use some heat shrink as well, but that obviously did the job. So if I can get those pipes on a little bit further and um, yeah, heat shrink them in place, I think we're on to a winner. So there you go. How's that look? What do you mean it's a bodge? It might be a bodge, but hmm, it's going to be a permanent bodge. <laughs> <laughs> right, um, yes, let's start putting things back together again because um, I'm further up near the water and uh, I think I fixed it. Don't see any leaks anywhere. I think we're all good. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's call it a job. There you go, good as new. You never knew I'd be in here. Um, right, so now I've got to put the bumper in place connect up the headlamp washers which um, yeah pours out water whenever you try and get the clip in <laughs> and uh, yeah that goes to the fog lights so I can leave it off for now and then got to pull the front parking sensors on there 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 yeah you know how it goes the things are very easy on the Audi right let's let's stop talking and get on with it Reeves so I didn't record much over the uh, the last half hour or so uh, because uh, yeah, I wanted to use what precious light we do have left of the day uh, to try and get this finished. So the bumper's back on again, uh, as you can see there. Um, I haven't got any leaks at the moment, so everything looks good. Uh, everything's, yeah, bolted up solid. Uh, all the sensors are in for the front parking sensors. Just got to put the fog light back in there. And then that's the front end done. Um, and then just got to put the cover on the back end. But want to give it a good test before I do that, just to make sure there are no leaks. But um, yeah, that's where we are. So right, I'm just going to get this corner bolted together, and um, yeah, we're about finished then. And the front end's finished off. There you go. Right, let's um, let's go and have a look at the back end. I need to shut this down. I'm just going to check for leaks before I do anything. No, 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 we're good. Can't feel a single drop. Happy with that. Happy with that. Right. Boot down. A little bit of that, Let's see if we can get you there again. Can I do it with my foot? I wonder. <laughs> yes, I can. And there you go. We have squirtage. And I cannot see any leaks. I cannot feel any leaks. Happy with that. Right, we're really losing the light now, but I'm determined to get the wiper back on. I've got a new one of these ordered because this one's a bit. Naff anyway, but uh, this will do for now. Right, I want two hands, so uh, bear with. So, this is it. Is it going to work? Hit it! Oh, look! Washy, washy! Look at that! <laughs> Thanks, I'll do. There you go. Definitely a long haul, but um, yeah, happy with that. And my two loyal assistants are now going to um, <laughs> collapse. <laughs> Somebody's been tidying up today and taking down Christmas decorations. Up and down the ladder. Yeah. Well, oh. Done yourself in. I have. Too old for this rubbish, dear. Yeah. Both of us. I'm not going to put any decks up next to you. No, Take no decks. Right, that is it. That is the S3 fixed. And... Uh, just got to be put down on the floor now and uh, yeah, as you can see um, I've lost light completely so it might even get clean tomorrow now it's all back together again and working but yeah what turned into a five minute quick investigation has turned into a two day job as always but there you go such is life all right thanks for uh, viewing thanks for subscribing and uh, I'll catch you again on the next one cheers YouTube